Okay, so um, looks like uh, I have another issue that I'm dealing with with Black Shadows. I secluded it here, and so basically the um, issue is. I'll mute it real quick. Well, Okay, so basically what we have here is uh, we have the killer show up and runs through a hallway and then basically at this point right here in this area you see one of the other people in the frame and she's not actually supposed to be in this frame because right now she's in a completely different room during this point in the movie. So little continuity error. Uh, she's actually only in the frame for about... 13 frames it looks like, so it's not even a half a second, but um, I still feared that I would deal with it. And so first of all what I was going to do was I was going to deal with it in um, Photoshop. I feared I could just bring up each frame and kind of airbrush her out because I have this frame right here where she's not actually in it. So I feared that I could just take it and use this as a template and use the layers and kind of build it up with it over her, kind of move some stuff around with the witch overlaying it. But then I remembered, oh yeah, that's a lot of freaking work. Because um, I did that with the Kamikaze logo, and it was a lot of work. It was like four hours worth of work to get a four second animation done. So that was a lot of work. I didn't feel like doing it. So I feared, why do that? What if I can just do it in After Effects? So, I'm going to do it in After Effects. <clears throat> Give it a moment while I hear it's loading up. So here's more post-production work. Um, I guess you can sit here and watch me actually at work on this. Uh, let's see. Open project. Okay, so. There we are. I have my um, composition. I'll drop the video in. And then... I figured I'd just apply a zoom, so I'm going to drop zoom down onto the video properties, and so let's see here, transform, position, anchor point, okay, so now we got keyframes open, and then basically looking at, well, Okay, so here's the animation going. Okay, so basically at this point where she is the most in the frame, I'll set up a keyframe here too. And I'll set up a keyframe on zoom as well. So I'll zoom in, move the frame over some more, zoom out some because it's way too far in. And I'll move that over. Oh, there's the edge of the frame. Okay, so we've got to zoom a little bit more in. I zoom this trial and error. And there. I think that might work. Okay, it looks like she steps in again there. So I guess I'll have to add another keyframe. Do it with a zoom. Basically, so here I can set up a keyframe here at the very end and just level everything back out. Okay, so after a little bit of working on it, um, get it all right. So I have it down to this. Now it's about all right. It's kind of quick, but what I thought I'd do is I'll just go ahead and render or save this, whatever. Uh, let's see. Commas. 
sehr schön. You can barely see her arm on that one frame, but I just don't think it's enough to even go with. So, whatever. Anyway, so I'll just go ahead and uh, add this to the render queue. And lossless, everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll just do it there. And it's done. Okay, so then what I'll do here then is I'll just go ahead and import this in to here. And we'll just go ahead and watch the full thing again. So here's how it looks now. So here's how it looks now in um, the full version it's supposed to be. Eh, not bad. Kind of a peculiar little angle. I kind of like it. It's a weird little angle. So, okay, so I just go ahead and uh, save this then because it works. Okay, so there you have it. So, yeah, and well, I guess um, there's another fun little thing. So, it looks like I'm basically having some fun with this. Uh, as far as uh, when the tape will be available for purchase if anybody wants to purchase it I don't know cause the funds are kinda running low right now um, it'll be available April 1st that's when um, certain people should be receiving it but uh, as far as available to everybody else I guess I'm taking orders it'll be shipped out when it's shipped out uh, shouldn't be too long I may be able to run to Best Buy this weekend and buy some supplies to keep it going but these are the only DVDs I got left. That's what? One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, that's probably about 15 there. So I guess I can make enough for seven more copies because it's a two disc set. So whatever. Yep. Yeah. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. And um, thanks for watching. Watch again.